everybody. It's Gail the Happy Stamper. Thanks for joining me today on this snowy day. We had no school in Jersey and um, it actually is really bad out. So I've been staying home today. Don't mind my nails. They're all chipped. I got a ton of house cleaning done and um, I've been working on getting my papers organized in my new cabinet and just getting a lot of this stuff that I have bought recently put away because I have had bags everywhere. So I just wanted to share with you how I store my clear stamps. I got a bunch of these. Um, these are Inka Dinka Doos, which are actually kind of nice. But I also got a lot of these Studio G's that, you know, are a dollar at Joann's and Michael's and whatnot. So instead of leaving them in these bags, I'm converting them into these CD cases. So I just wanted to share a couple of things with you that I do in order to do that. First of all, what I do is I'm saving these plastic bags that they come in. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with them, but I'm just I'm saving them. Recycle whenever we can, ladies and gentlemen. So I just have a little basket and I keep these things um, for later use. I also am keeping the little square um, acetate sheets. I don't know if you can even see them, but they're like, you know, three by three size. I'm thinking like I can use these for shaker cards or something along those lines. So I'm saving those. I am also saving these would make pretty shaker um, embellishments too with beads behind them but they're all the which way does this guy go like this it's all the you know acetate that comes the stamp comes on so I'm keeping all of these oops and one just went in my ink because I, I think those would be really cute as a shaker um, you know my top layer on a shaker so I'm keeping those and then the other thing I'm keeping that just occurred to me is I was throwing these away. These are, you know, kind of pretty good heavy cardboard. Again, these are the Inka Dinka Doos. And um, I think these would make cute tags if I covered them. So just another recycling tip. Keep the tags um, of these that are, you know, better quality cardboard and a little heavy. Um, so that is all the stuff I'm saving. What I do is this is how I store them like that and what you're going to do is start with a CD case like this and I get these for a pack of gosh I don't know 24 at Staples and you're just going to gently pop out this black part like so and I'm just going to toss that but I'm determined to find a way of reusing this I don't know ribbon comes to my mind but I have to think about that and then what I do is I take just some typing paper, cheapo typing paper, like this. I cut it at four and three quarters by four and three quarters, which seems to be about right to slide into the front. And then I group these together, you know, by theme. So for example, this is going to be my Inka Dinka Do Christmas stamp set. And I just did the wreath. And then here is another one, and I'll just quickly show you what I'm going to do. This one is actually really pretty. And again, I'm going to save my plastic. I'm going to save both sheets of this acetate, this clear. And then also this one that it comes with, with the d decoration or whatever your stamp is. Um, because I think that would be really cool as, like I say, a shaker. So I'm just going to put it on my acrylic block, and I'm saving these too because I'm envisioning these as tags, just, you know, reinvented. So I'm going to get my stamp all good and liquored up. I love saying that. Press down like so. And then I'm just going to wipe these off. I use wipies for these because when I use my Stampin' Up! scrub pad. They like peel off and they don't clean right. And then I'm just going to put it right in my CD case. Okay? So let me show you one more. This is super easy and it's a good thing to do today. We are completely snowed in. They are actually 
fining people if you're out after 6 p.m. tonight. They are fining you $1,000. They do not want anybody on the roads. It's just too dangerous out here, and especially in the mountains where we are. So we've been snowed in, and like I said, it's been a great day. I've been home with my kitties. They've been sledding, and um, it's a good day just to come down here and get organized. Okay. I'm going to get another piece of paper because I'm out of space on that one. But this is this really cute big gingerbread guy. And then I'll just make this like part two. Okay. And sometimes, I don't have the best of luck all the time with these, but I did get a tip, and I'm not sure from who, but she said to put a layer of foam you know, I get this foam. Try that. So I haven't tried it yet. If any of you ladies have, um, just let me know. And then I'm going to put this one in here. And then I'll just continue adding to it. So I'm just going to write on this one, you know, Inca Dinka Do Part 2. And I'm going to make this part one. And then I'll just keep adding to it. So I keep them, you know, grouped with some kind of grouping to make sense when I'm looking for something. So that's what I do. I just slide it in there. And this one, same thing. Just going to pop it in there. And then as I get more of these little stamps, I will add to it. And then I just keep them grouped together like that. So super simple. I've got, you know, a bunch more to do with these. I love this one, though. Look how cool this one is. It's a reindeer. Love it. Isn't it cool? Beautiful. Love it. Kind of is like a Swiss thing. And then um, that is what I've been working on today. I've also been kind of playing around with my all my new dies that I got from Sizzix.com. Here's what else I've been playing with. I don't know. I'm seeing something with this. Okay. We're working on it. So that's what I've been doing today, trying to get a little organized. And this is my messy desk. <laughs> my messy desk. I'm trying though. I just don't I don't know. Too much too much stuff. I don't know what I need. But I need something. So I hope I'm not making you dizzy. And there's that pretty card Eve sent me. But this is my messy desk. And it's actually very clean right now. So this is all a good thing. But I just wanted to show you what else I did today. Um, if you remember yesterday, I got those um, Sterilite cabinets. And there they are. And I love it. I keep it right by my desk here. And they're filled with paper. Oop, that's another one on top. But I've got all sorts of paper and stuff in here. So I'm excited because this was all just piled up on my desk and or next to it. So now I've got somewhere to put it. Here is my other really messy area where I keep a bunch of stuff, you know, cuddle bug. I don't even have my big light on, but my cuddle bug, big shot, you know, the Sizzix, all that stuff. I really need help. So if anyone has any suggestions, please let me know. But there's some more paper and just some more of my stuff. I've been trying to get it a little organized. And then I worked on today all of my um, getting my stickers. There's my nail salon guys want your nails done come see Gail I've been working on my stickers today too so here's how I do it and it isn't the greatest but you know I keep everything in this huge tote and then for example you know if I want to pull out winter and Christmas I pull out this mambo file so here's all my winter and Christmas. It's not the greatest solution, but it's what works for me for now. So that's what I was working on today, getting all my stuff organized. So thanks for